So I wanted to make a video on how to repair the uh, Thrustmaster steering wheel for Xbox 360. So I started experiencing um, a very erratic steering. I did research online, found out that there was a potentiometer <clears throat> that was used for the steering position sensor. However, no one knew the value, no one knew a replacement part, so I was kind of on my own trying to figure out uh, the right part to use. Anyways, so this is the part right here. It sits right behind the steering wheel base. When you turn it, um, there's a potentiometer that changes values. The value of the potentiometer is a, a 10 thousand ohm or 10 kilo ohm potentiometer so first thing you've got to start with you got to remove these screws here on the sides which which holds the uh, whole assembly in place okay so I removed the um, holding fixture I guess for this potentiometer <clears throat> you'll need to remove this piece here and what this is, is like a final calibration. When it's all assembled, you could uh, just do some final tweaks, which will uh, allow you to align the steering wheel perfectly once everything's assembled. Um, but that's after you get the new part in. So just take this off. Um, this just pulls out. So after some research online, the closest part or the closest equivalent part I, f I was able to find was this part here. I, ac I actually bought two of them, not knowing exactly which size I would need. I ended up needing um, the one with the longer shaft. Um, but anyways, this thing was totally shot. Um, I'll post a video of the way the steering was uh, reacting with this uh with this bad potentiometer in So, once you pull this thing apart, um, go ahead and slide this thing out, the slide the shaft down uh, through this sleeve. Okay. So, the part I had found was this through, through DigiKey. I'll post the link. So, as you can see, um, the shaft is um, much bigger, well, not a whole lot bigger, but obviously bigger than the original one. So the shaft has, has, has to go in um, through this hole, through this sleeve. So the first task business was to um, narrow the diameter of, of, the, of the new part. Um, first thing you wanna do is make sure it's gonna fit in here because that's gonna be the first step in um, providing the right size so it could fit down into the back side right there. It fits, there it is, it's a D groove or a D slot and it fits right in the back of there. So, so it's, it's gotta be a pretty good fit. Um, but but the, first, the first task is just to get it so it'll slide in through this. Um, so basically, I the rough rough cutting I did with the Dremel tool, um, this is the part I actually used um, because the short part um, wasn't long enough, wasn't going to extend into that, um, that D groove of on the back side of the steering wheel. So anyways, so I started with Dremel tool, kind of just shaving it off a little bit of time. Do not... Do not touch the flat part of it. All you've got to do is, is start shaving around the outer diameter. Don't mess with the flat. Um, 
there's kind of a bevel here. All I did is, is I kind of took it down to the bevel all the way around. That bevel kind of provided a guideline so I wouldn't start throwing off um, my center. So, so once I did that, once I was able to get it in through this, in through the shaft or in through the sleeve, um, then I was, I was pretty close to the final size because obviously this one fits in and, and, uh, and that's, that's the ending diameter. So, so once I got in, into this, I switched over to like, a, an, an exacto knife. Okay. And you don't want to put a lot of pressure going down because that's exercising and putting a lot of pressure on the little contacts inside the potentiometer. And that's, that's just gonna maybe wear it and or groove it or, or, or break up that carbon uh, material. So what I did is is with this larger one, I kind of put, put my thumb, um, don't cut yourself, I'm providing a fair warning now. So just I, I, I just start scraping it down. A little bit of time, a little bit of time, taking a little bit off uh, equally all the way around, all the way around. Until um, for a final fit, um, for a final fit, obviously you want it to go into the back side of the uh, steering wheel, okay? Which is right there, okay? So, and you want it to go in uh, with a little resistance, not not too much. You don't want too much slop, um, or it's it's not gonna provide um, perfect feedback to the system. So. Like I said, don't do anything with the flat. Leave the flat alone. So um, once you get it down close in size, you just come over here and try to fit it um, into the uh, into the backside of the steering wheel. So as you can see, I I mean it fits in there nicely. It's 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 snug. It's not it's not really loose. There's not a lot of play. So so it's it's going to have a pretty true. Um, a, a pretty true feedback to to the position of the steering wheel okay all right so once that's done you want to make sure um, you you bevel it back far enough um, because once you get in get it on the fixture um, it's got to be in the proper position um, and have enough room uh, that the fixture will hold it in place so once that's done um, I'm gonna switch over to my my part that I did not modify. So, first things I uh, these little tabs, um, these little tabs that stick down. All you gotta do is just get your pliers and just wiggle them back and forth, back and forth until it breaks off. Okay, and you would you want it to break off like right right there? Okay, you don't want this tab in the way. And then do the same thing on this side. Flip it over, wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it. Until it breaks, um, and then probably there'll be some metal that you probably just want to slide down a little bit, um, just so it's not sticking out because it is a tight fit into the fixture. So just smooth it back against against the body of the uh, of the potentiometer. So one other thing, there are these two tabs that are sticking up on either side of the potentiometer. So you'll need to. Uh, Cut those off flush with the face of this potentiometer. So you want to slice this one even with the surface and then take off this one as well, even with the surface. So, so once that's all done, you want to, uh, you don't even have to take this thing off. All right. So the original one, the contacts came up this way, up to the top, but this one, in order to make it work, they've got to be uh, pointing downwards, okay? So it's going to go on like this. Oh, one other thing. Okay, this is the part that holds the potentiometer to the holding fixture, okay? One thing, one modification you have to do to this, there's two little, two little uh, rails right here it's like right here and right here you got you got to you got to remove those just just cut them off flat 
flush with the uh, with the backside, two of them, okay? And then this thing fits in with the uh, with the contacts down. This thing fits in um, nice and tight, okay? So also you want to make sure that uh, this hole is lined up with that uh, that is the back side I guess the back side of that um, rotating potentiometer you need to make sure that that's um, aligned perfectly with that hole alright so once that's done all you do is just so the flat side goes down okay flat side goes down it's kind of hard to see there there flat side goes down okay and you want to just put these guys in you don't have to tighten them Ugh, come on. All right, so you just leave that loose. Um, okay. So, and then um, the potentiometer will actually be held in place because it is a tiny bit bigger than than the the original one that was in there so that's got a little bit of spring tension that's gonna hold it in place perfectly and it's never gonna move okay all right so also you'll need to solder the uh, the connector wires back onto here and then it'll go red black yellow in in that configuration if you have it reversed your steering wheel is gonna be uh, driving opposite direction Okay, here I've got it in place. So I'm going to zoom in here. So as you can see, the flat side's going down and uh, it just slides in right there, nice and easily. Nice and easy. There you go, get that screw. I'm gonna leave a little bit of play to allow a little bit of travel in that holding piece. So all the vibration is not taken up by the potentiometer, but by the uh, actual holding fixture moving back and forth. All right, so. Oh, let's see. I'll do loosen up just a little bit. Okay. Tighten that up. Tighten it up just a little bit. Anyway, once you get that in, you'll, you'll want to uh, make sure that that's moving freely. That shaft is um, moving freely within the uh, the mating piece on the back side of that steering wheel. Okay, if it's not, um, that means a lot of the pressure is being exerted down on the back of this potentiometer. That's where the contact points are, and over time, that's going to create excessive wear, and it's going to make your potentiometer wear out much quicker. All right, 
So, actually I could tighten this side up a little bit more. All right, so you get the idea, okay? Make sure you got a little bit of play because if you don't, like I said, you're, you're bottoming out your potentiometer and, it, and it's gonna ruin it quicker, all right? So, so once that's in, all these, all these steering wheels are, have a little bit of play. So when you do move it, there you've got the actual, all the movement is being, being uh, absorbed through this holding fixture as opposed to the center shaft of the, of the potentiometer. Um, and as you can see, There's no delay. Right when you move the steering wheel, the potentiometer shaft moves along with it. Okay? So that means that there's no slop within that D groove. And, and they've got a good contact. And you'll have a pretty accurate feedback from your steering wheel. So, and then all you've got to do is connect this motherboard right here and then you want to power your system up and then get on one of your racing games and get to the view where you can see the steering wheel because that'll uh, give you a feedback of the position of, of, of your your steering wheel of, of your uh, of your game and then what you do you're gonna Wiggle this back and forth. And when, what, is it, what you want to do is center the steering wheel in your video game to the center of your actual wheel that you're holding. And then you'll just tweak this one way or another and then you'll see the, the steering wheel on your video game uh, center. So once it centers, kind of like don't touch it anymore tighten this down, tighten it down snug. They had like Loctite on it or some sort of sealant or, or, or secure glue. Um, that's probably not, not too necessary. If you want to, you could put like a drop of super glue on there. I don't know, but just tighten it up. Um, one, and once it's tight, it's calibrated. So I've got two Thrustmaster steering wheels. This one had the modified potentiometer. This one has the original from the manufacturer. So <clears throat> you could tell these steering wheels have a lot of slop in them. So with these uh, screws loosened up, that allows that whole assembly to wiggle a little bit, but yet it doesn't move the potentiometer any so it doesn't change the air you're, you're steering. But yet, when you move the steering wheel, the only thing that moves is the potentiometer. So, um, before, when these, were, when these screws were tightened down, um, securing this piece, all that vibration was being absorbed and taken in by that potentiometer. So there's that one. And then here's the reworked one. You tell <clears throat> this has got a lot of play in it. Also, the steering wheel. Um, but yet, when you move it, only the poten potentiometer moves. Okay, so right now, I've got my steering wheel connected with the original unmodified potentiometer. This is a, comes from the factory. So you can see everything tracks really well.
Okay, now this wheel is the modified potentiometer. Now, as you can see, <clears throat> tracking just as good as the original one. So I hope this video helped some people. Like I said, I couldn't find any information on fixing the steering wheel issue. So I wanted to make a video help out some people get some steering wheels back working.